like I'm, I'm working it right now and like, yeah, my forearms are starting to really feel it. My shoulders, like this is a workout and, but it's starting to, it's starting to take shape here. What's going on guys? Today I am here with Lance and we are really excited because we are doing a really awesome recipe that I know you guys are going to love. So, that's right. Yes. Let's tell them all about it, Lance. Hello, YouTube family <laughs> and Facebook family. How's it going? Yeah, we're going to do a DIY deodorant recipe. And the main reason why you want to do this is because it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's really good for your body. And so, there's a lot of toxins and not so good stuff and deodorants out there. And this is just, once you kind of measure out everything, you got all the ingredients, it's it's pretty pretty simple yes. and I like making it and it lasts me months and months and months and costs a few bucks and it's awesome. And the so, biggest thing, it's natural. So. And it's natural. Yeah, so a lot of deodorants, when you look out there, they have propylene glycol, they have parabens, and they have a big one which is aluminum, which is very toxic for your brain. So you don't want any of that. You want something that you can make yourself. If you like getting, you know, with your hands in there, that's going to be the most affordable route. Even if you buy deodorant that's natural and doesn't have all the other stuff I mentioned, it's still going to be at a premium. And so this is, and it, but you're paying for the convenience. Right, which and is, in the long run, it, it, it will be cheaper. Oh, yeah, once yeah. Once you get the ingredients and stuff. The, the initial purchase is, yes. you know, but eventually it... Yeah, I mean, all these yeah. items that we're going to talk about, yeah, they cost more together because we're getting, like, the big sizes of everything. But individually, yeah, this is maybe, like, a couple bucks or something. Max. Right. But yeah. All right, so let's start. Right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so the first ingredient is coconut oil. This yes. is organic and raw coconut oil, and it's a fourth of a cup that we're using. And so, yeah, as you can oh, see, it's no, very it's solid. solid it's cold. solid, yeah. So coconut oil is really, really good, I and mean, it absorbs really well into your skin. It moisturizes your skin as well, and because it's organic and raw, um, it kind of has all those beneficial properties. So we, pr I mean, yeah, if you want to break it down a little bit so that when we mix in the other ingredients, it'll be, yeah, you kind of have to work it. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, it, and it's, it's pretty, you know, I'm going to say it's chilly yeah. in here. But. All right, what do we have next? Okay, we're going to move on. All right, so let's go with the... Baking, baking soda. soda. Baking soda is very alkalizing and also helps to neutralize any bacteria or anything like that in the body. And so this is going to be really key and really important to use. Um, if you look at a lot of deodorants out there like Arm & Hammer or stuff like that, they use baking soda. But you don't want to use too much because it can cause irritation. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes it, it does that even when I don't use that much because it gets in the pores. So if you're sweating and apply it right into there, it's going to cause some irritation as well, but it's yeah. all good. Yeah, the better you work that coconut oil, <laughs> the better the other ingredients will mix. So yeah, I know it's a little bit tedious. Yeah. I don't know if a fork works better. I'm going to use my biceps on this. Yeah, it's, it, this, <laughs> she's putting in that work. This is called, a, was it elbow grease? Is that what it is? So, yeah, but no, it's good. It's, oh, there we so, go. There we go. Oh, yeah, once perfect. you kind of work it, I don't know if you want to show them what it's looking like so, so far. It's nothing special, but it's definitely looking better. Um, yeah, it's right. getting smoother. What do we have next, Lance? What do we have next? Next we have arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder does help with some of the consistency and texture of this deodorant as well. And you want to, I use arrowroot powder instead of cornstarch because arrowroot powder is non-GMO. and But it still has the same properties. So we're going to put that in there. Oh. Boom. Oh, hello. Yep. <laughs> exactly what happened when I went to pick up arrowroot powder the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the, the, oh yeah, and it like scatters and spins squirts all over the place. It has a mind of its own. Yeah, it has a mind of its own. So the elbow grease comes in when you're using the coconut oil, especially if it's 76 degrees or below, which it is. And then the shea butter or shea butter, that's going to be the elbow grease too. So yeah, probably want to... So shea butter helps with texture of the coconut oil and, or excuse me, of the deodorant. And sometimes I, if I'm making a bigger batch, I'll put it in my blend tech and mix it all because it warms it up as it's spinning. And I mean, we could do that, but because it's such a small amount, it's going to get more caught underneath everything. It's going to be a lot more elbow grease trying to get all the little nicks and crannies out of that thing. So, um, so now we're just going to put some shea butter. And so this is going to help it solidify, but it's also really uh, moisturizing yes. for your skin too. Yeah, if you look at like chapsticks, like natural chapsticks, they have shea butter in it, which is really, really good for your skin. 
Yeah, I mean, I can work some of this too if you want me to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because she's like doing. Needs to, you know, use his I need to feel. Muscles. Yeah, I need to feel the pain here of <laughs> all the. I mean, because this is this is this is where the real work comes in. And, yes. Um, and guys, um, you know, you do apply this like once a day or twice a day if you need to reapply if you're sweating or anything like that. Um, I would say reapply for sure. Um, if you want, right? Yeah, you yeah. If you're swimming, sweaty, showering, all that good stuff. Yeah, this is, it's almost recommended that you almost want to heat this up <laughs> a little bit. Yes. Um, I would say uh, definitely if you're going to make like a, a big batch, like you said, put yeah. it and blend it up. Like I'm, I'm working it right now and like, yeah, my forearms are starting to really feel it. <laughs> my shoulders, like this is a workout and, but it's starting to, it's starting to take shape here. I really feel that, you know, the burn in my, like I feel in my arms, my chest here. I also did work out, so I'm kind of sore from that too, but this is cool. It's, it's taking shape. It's, yeah, it looks you like go. a, it You're doing a better job now than I was. So. It doesn't look special. Like it's nothing special, but all the little particles of the shea butter and the coconut oil are all mixing together. It's, it's getting smooth. Like it's starting to look one Woody. color. Yeah, it's like got a very, ooh, wow, oh, my good. arms are really like, so I think the fork helps. Yeah. Like the. That's what I noticed too. Whew. This is no joke, seriously. This is why when I make it, I make a big batch and I make it for like, it lasts me like nine months. Stretch. Yeah, you got, you kind of have to stretch. This is like, no joke, oh my goodness. But it's like, look, it's it like, pretty good. it's smoothing out, yeah. like all the, and so the better you work all, there's like little particles of shea butter that I'm still trying to break down, like, you know, break it down. There you go, right? Break, break it down. And it's, it's, Lance, put over this way so they can oh, see you. Oh, okay. Am I out? I'm out of the shot. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, she's, she's helping me stay, um, film ready yeah. here. <sighs> all right all right that's looks good i think it looks pretty good now. pretty good okay yeah i so think we're now good now we're gonna add the scent because you know that's what it looks like so you can see oh yeah again nothing special all right so now we're gonna add the magic yes. the magic so this is lavender oil lavender oil is really good because it it calms and yeah, soothes yeah. the skin has a lot of different this is a brand new one. Ooh, popping it open all right so ooh. Okay, my shoulders are kind of... So how many right. drops do we put in? We put five drops of lavender. So this is going to help with the aromatherapy of the actual um, deodorant here, as well as the soothing ability. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then we're just going to mix it all around. And now that, that mixes really well because it had already been kind of broken down. And now the spoon is really a good way to kind of blend everything because, mm. yeah, you smell the yeah. aromatherapy there going on. Oh, yeah. And this is going to be better than, you know, using other stuff and store-bought stuff because, you know, you know what's, you know what's in this yeah, deodorant. Yeah, you know what you're putting on your body, which mm -hmm. is important. Yep. And, oh, and this deodorant is not going to prevent sweating. You will still sweat, but it does help to neutralize, you know, the bad elements that cause odor. And that's really cool. So now it has a very, like, creamy, like, texture. Um, I'll just show it to you again. It's kind of just got a creamy like texture mm -hmm. and we're just kind of working all around here. All right, so that's it. So now that's all right, pretty let's much pour done. it in the container. So he's going to pour it into a, that's a Pyrex container, right? Yep. So this is what we're going to pour it into and then it has a lid mm -hmm. and this is really what you want to use because it's open mouth so that it's easy to get access to it. And let's see. This looks okay. like whipped cream. I just want to eat this. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like whipped cream or something like a harder or frosting actually frosting. actually you can't eat well it would taste kind of weird because there's no sugar in it but yeah, yeah that's right but I use a little I guess you call this a wick yeah and so I'm just going to kind of take that and wick it all around here work it wick it okay so we're gonna put that in here like this like so okay boom I'm in the shot okay <laughs> Yeah, I probably need to move over. Okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah, move over because you're in, you're not in the shot. Okay, now we're in the shot. Good. All right. So then, boom. So you can see this container is just a little bit bigger, but I, you know, I can spread it around a little bit, kind of like that. And um, that looks great. Yeah. And you can keep this. This will last you quite a minute, quite a while, actually. So. Yeah, you really don't need that much. Like when I yeah. apply it, I take my finger here. And then I just take a little bit of this deodorant now and I just apply it underneath my arm and then underarm. And again, if I sweat 
especially in the summertime, or if I swim or stuff like that, then yeah, definitely will yeah. reapply. And then, um, yeah. Cool. Smell? Oh, you guys want to smell it? <laughs> smell it. <laughs> it smells like lavender and other stuff. Like when I put a citrus oil in there, and it smells like frosting. Oil, right? Yeah. It's really, really nice. Yep. And then what you do is you put the lid on it. And then what's really interesting is that colder times of the year, it'll be more solid, yeah. just like deodorant, but in the summertime, it gets kind of like soft. Right. So then it's easier to apply, but yeah, texture changes because coconut oil is going to be solid below. Yeah, this is very moisturizing, very moisturizing. Yeah, you can even apply them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it. DIY, do-it-yourself deodorant. You just saw it here. Um, I'm actually gonna try you to guys, if you guys try it, let us know in the comments below how it worked out for you. Um, and yeah, drop us a drop us a line and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, that's right. Hit like if you enjoyed it and this video got some value out of it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us, Facebook Live as well as YouTube. <laughs> Thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye. Deodorants. <laughs>